Hi guys, and welcome back to another episode of Manifest with Tori Simone. I'm your host, Tori D. Simone, and I'm recording from my bedroom tonight. So if you guys are watching on YouTube, this is a new setup. Um, it's actually 9.15 at night, and I never really record this late, and I also never really record in my bedroom. But I'm breaking all my own rules tonight, and I'm recording late, and I'm recording in my bedroom. Um... I hope you guys are having a great day so far. Happy Monday, everyone. I'm doing a late night episode because I am traveling. Um, Last week when you guys are listening to this, I actually normally record on Thursdays, but I actually recorded this on Tuesday night. And when you guys are actually listening to this on Monday, I am in Florida. Um, I'm in Disney World. And um, yeah, hope I'm having a great time. I'm sure I am. But I'm in Disney World with my boyfriend and my boyfriend's family. This has been planned for like a super long time. So, and it's actually the first vacation that I've taken since 2020. Um, Like right before COVID hit, my family went to Jamaica and that was like, literally, I remember like we landed like March 9th of 2020 and then COVID shut down March 13th. But anyway, so this is like my first like vacation since then. I went to Idaho with my family in I think March of this past year. And that was, I guess, a vacation, but it was also like to visit my sister and to visit my grandma, my aunt, uncle, my cousins that are all out there in Idaho as well. So I guess you could count that as a vacation too, but this actually kind of feels like a vacation. So it's pretty much my first vacation in a very long time. And, um, I'm very anxious to fly and I think I like plan to make like a whole reel about flight anxiety because I know I am definitely not the only one that suffers through it and I've been working through it a lot with my therapist. I'm actually texting her like during like right before I was recording this episode. I was like texting her and she's like, do you want me to call you? I'm like, no, like actually just text me so I can read all these texts on the flight tomorrow. So um I wanted to, and I was talking to one of my best friends and we were like, she was saying how I should make a whole episode about flight anxiety. And while I think it's a great idea, I just don't think I have much advice to give because I still very much so struggle with it. But I look forward to the day where I make an episode about flight anxiety, where I can say confidently that I'm completely over it. And I can say, this is what I did. This is how I thought, things like that. And it ties in pretty well to today's episode, which is how to practice manifestation daily. Um, You guys will see how that all comes full circle. But yeah, when you guys listen to this, I'm on vacation. And so I wanted to get this episode out for you guys so that we wouldn't miss a week. Um, But I'm recording at different times that I normally do. Not like you guys really care or need to know, but I felt the need to tell you. So happy Monday, guys. I hope you're having a great day. I also hope this audio sounds okay. Um, I hope it doesn't sound staticky at all. I, it was raining really hard here and my podcast equipment is like in this corner that's between my couch and the window and I left the windows open like I always do and it rained and it's never been an issue before but I guess it was raining really hard and the wind came in and it got all of my stuff soaked like my recorder, my microphone, my headphones, everything got soaked Everything works. It all turns on in my headphones. It sounds like a little like staticky. So I'm hoping that it's my headphone cord and not my microphone cord. But nonetheless, it's not terrible, but I'll get it fixed. um, If not by next week, by the week after. So today this will have to do. But today I want to talk about how to practice manifestation daily. Um, the show is obviously called Manifest with Tori D. Simone, and I feel like lately I haven't been talking a ton about manifestations and the practice of manifesting and spirituality. When the show started in 2019, I was very into my practice of it, and I was very enthralled in the process of it. And don't get me wrong, like I still am, but I just feel like I've stop talking about it as much on this podcast. And that's not something that I wanted to naturally steer away from. It just sort of happened as we started talking about wellness and entrepreneurship and fitness and I don't know, life, like 
everything. Like it really evolved into a very lifestyle podcast, which I love. But the other day I got a DM and I just want to nail home the, the point that like I still very much so believe in manifestation, the universe, higher power, spirituality, like all the reasons I started this podcast, I still believe and I still practice. Like I literally made a planner called the manifest planner because of what the contents of the planner are. Like I truly believe in this and I practice it in my day-to-day life. Um, so I just want to make sure that that's like not like looked over. But I got a DM the other day and someone was like, hey, like I really want to start manifesting. Like how do I start and how do I do this in my everyday life? And I think I gave like a really half-assed response because it kind of went in one ear and out the other because I'm like, how do you like – my whole life is this, you know what I mean? Like to me, it just comes as second nature. And I wrote back and I was like, get my planner. I made a whole planner of how to manifest in an easy way every single day. That's journaling, that's planning, it's creative. It gives your day's purpose. And while all of that is true, I thought more about her question and more about how half-assed my answer was. And I was like, you know what? This really deserves its whole own episode of what is manifestation and how can I bring it into my day-to-day life? So I'm really excited to share that topic with you guys today. And I don't really feel the need to drag this one out. So let's just get right into it. How to practice manifestation on a daily basis. I love that sound. That is the sound of another sale on Shopify, the all-in-one commerce platform to start, run, and grow your business. Shopify gives entrepreneurs the resources once reserved for big businesses. So upstarts, startups, and established businesses alike can sell everywhere, synchronize online and in-person sales, and effortlessly stay informed. Scaling your business is a journey of endless possibility. Believe me, when I first started selling the Manifest Planner and then started venturing into exploring how to sell the physical hard copy version of the Manifest Planner, there was only one website I was going to use and that is Shopify. Shopify has the tools and resources that make it easy for any business, especially one of my size where I've never sold a physical product to someone before to get it to the person who ordered it down the street or around the globe. Shopify powers millions of businesses from first sale to full scale. Reach customers online and across social networks with an ever-growing suite of channel integrations and apps, including Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Pinterest, and more. You can synchronize your online and in-person sales, and something that I love is you can gain insights as you grow with detailed reporting of conversion rates, profit margins, and beyond. It's more than a store because Shopify grows with you. This is Possibility, powered by Shopify. Go to shopify.com slash manifest, all lowercase, to start your free trial and get access to Shopify's entire suite of features. Grow your business with Shopify today. Go to shopify.com slash manifest right now. Shopify.com slash manifest. Now a word from our sponsor, BetterHelp. Whenever I get caught up in flight anxiety, I always find myself focusing on the problem rather than the solutions. I always get worried about the flight rather than the fact that I'm going on vacation after the flight or that I've been nervous about flights before and I've always been fine. It can be tough to train your brain to stay in problem-solving mode when faced with a challenge in your life, but that is where BetterHelp is coming in to help you get through tough challenges in your life. When I began therapy about two years ago at this point, I really noticed such differences in myself from who I am today versus who I was two years ago. Now, I know I keep bringing up flight anxiety, but it's really something that I've been working towards and it's been put to the test this week. I've been able to communicate with my therapist and get problem-solving tactics to help me get on a flight, stay on a flight, and continue to get over this as I grow older and work towards this problem. If you're thinking of therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It is a great option. It's convenient, it's accessible, it's affordable, and it's entirely online. Get matched with a therapist after filling out a brief survey and switch therapists at any time. When you want to be a better problem solver, therapy can get you there. Visit betterhelp.com slash Tori today to get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp.com slash Tori. This could not come at a better time. 
One of the ways that I really love to visualize my life is through the practice of meditation. And I really want to focus on you for a moment. How are you feeling? How are things going? If your answer to any of those two questions was anything less than amazing, I want to help. And our partners at Calm have the tools you need to feel your best. I'm thrilled to say that we are partnering with Calm, the number one mental wellness app, to give you the tools that improve the way you feel. Reduce stress and anxiety through guided meditations, improve your focus with curated music tracks, and rest and recharge with Calm's imaginative sleep stories for children and adults. There's even new daily movement sessions designed to relax your body and uplift your mind. If you go to calm.com slash manifest, you'll get a special offer of 40% off a Calm premium subscription and new content is added every week. Over 100 million people around the world use Calm to take care of their minds and Calm is ready to help you stress less, sleep more and live a happier, healthy life. I used Calm this week because I actually have a flight anxiety soothing meditation that I put on and I listen to as we take off and oh my goodness, does it help me. I love using Calm's guided meditations because I often tend to think that I'm not supposed to think during meditations, but meditation is actually a practice of redirecting our thoughts and having the guided meditations is a game changer. There's also ways to visualize on there. There's ways to calm down, reduce anxiety. I just adore Calm and they have Harry Styles sleep stories on there. So I literally get to go to sleep with the sounds of Harry Styles in my ear. It is like so, so gorgeous and just glorious. For listeners of the show, Calm is offering an exclusive offer of 40% off a Calm premium subscription at calm.com slash manifest. Go to calm.com slash manifest for 40% off unlimited access to Calm's entire library. That's calm.com slash manifest. Do you have ambitious hiring goals for the last quarter of 2022? With a powerful hiring partner, big goals are no big deal because you need Indeed. Indeed is the hiring platform where you can attract, interview, and hire all in one place. Don't spend hours on multiple job sites looking for candidates with the right skills when you can do all that you need with Indeed. You can find top talent fast with Indeed's suite of powerful hiring tools like Indeed Instant Match, assessments, and virtual interviews. If you hate waiting, Indeed's U.S. data shows over 80% of Indeed employees find quality candidates whose resume on Indeed match the job description the moment they sponsor a job. I love Indeed because I've actually hired so many people throughout the years for a multitude of head businesses, whether it's been Stride, whether it's been a graphic designer. All I have to do is put out what I want on Indeed and the right candidates instantly come to me. Join over 3 million businesses worldwide using Indeed to hire great talent fast. Start hiring now with a $75 sponsored job credit to sponsor your job at Indeed.com slash manifest. Offer is good for a limited time. Claim your $75 credit now at indeed.com slash manifest. Indeed.com slash manifest. Terms and conditions apply. Need to hire? You need Indeed. What's something that you look forward to waking up every day? Or we could say something that you're grateful for every day. Is it your coffee? Maybe you're grateful for your pet. Maybe it's the face of someone that you love. For me, I'm super grateful to put on a pair of MeUndies. You can add MeUndies to your gratitude list that you journal every single morning. Start your mornings with your favorite underwear. And not just any underwear, but ridiculously soft undies with ridiculous prints that make picking out your underwear actually really fun. MeUndies makes the softest fabrics you have ever put on your body, so you can sit on your couch all day long or go out and live your comfiest life. Once you try their undies, socks, bralettes, and loungewear, you'll never go back. Choose from a range of limited edition prints and colors and sizes from extra small to 4XL. You can also sign up for their free to join MeUndies membership where you get a monthly subscription that sends new styles right to your door. Plus, enjoy up to 30% off virtually everything that they make, free shipping and returns on every order and early access to new launches and exclusive member-only sales. I plan on wearing my MeUndies when I'm traveling this week so that I stay extra comfortable and just have a little something thing that reminds me of home. MeUndies has a great offer for my listeners. For any first-time purchasers, you get 20% off plus free shipping and returns. To get 20% off your first order, free shipping, and 100% satisfaction guarantee, go to MeUndies.com manifest. That's MeUndies.com manifest.
So when I was first introduced and interested in manifestation, um, I actually just remembered this memory that came to mind. I was at a pool party um, at uh, RCL Beauty. Do you guys remember RCL Beauty? She's on TikTok and Rachel Levin. She was having a pool party and um, she invited me over and I went over and I hung out with her and I hung out with her friends and it was fun. Like we were having a great time and then we started getting talking. She goes, have you ever watched The Secret? And I was like, no, what is it? And she was like, oh my God, it's this movie on Netflix. You have to watch it. And she was like, I watched it and I manifested a million subscribers and then I got a million subscribers. And I was like, what? Like, no way. This was like back in like, I don't know, 2016, maybe 2015. She was like, I manifested it. And then I got a million subscribers. And I was like, what do you mean? Like, that's crazy. So I went home, I went on Netflix and I watched The Secret. Um, would I recommend you watch it today? I don't know. It's like a very cheesy movie. Um, it's based on a book called The Secret. And I think if you asked me like four years ago, I would have recommended you to watch it or to read the book. But nowadays, I feel like there are so many other resources that are better, that explain it better, and that don't make it so like cheesy. Like that movie, it's like, if you want money, just visualize money coming in. And then it's like a woman like going to a mailbox and opening up checks and checks of money. Like that's Yes, that's kind of manifestation, but it's also not it whatsoever. So I don't want to like put out there this false persona of what manifestation is. And I think The Secret does it in such a cheesy way, but it's a great introduction nonetheless to manifestation. So when I was first introduced to it and interested in it, it was easy to understand because of the movie The Secret, but looking further into it, it can be such a deep topic with so much depth and opinions behind it and knowledge behind it that it almost seems like an untouchable topic to approach because it's like, okay, I have a literal mountain in front of me. Where do I even begin? This is where you can begin. So today I really want to break down what manifestation is and how you can practice it in your daily life. So let's start with the basics. What is manifestation? According to Google, manifestation is an event, action, or object that clearly shows or embodies something, especially a theory or an abstract idea. To put it in layman's terms or different terms, manifestation, in my, in my words, manifestation is the practice of visualization and beliefs that manifests or shows itself in reality, in your day-to-day -day life. What you believe is essentially what you live. And we see this example everywhere. There is so much science behind this that I'm actually going to leave that to the experts um, and they can explain it much better than I ever can, the science behind it. But this already happens so much in your day-to-day -day life without even noticing it. Like you clicking on this episode, for an example, is a manifestation that you've already made in your mind that is coming true. Wanting to learn more or even just being curious about the practice of manifestation has led you to this podcast one way or another. Like think about it. There are millions and millions and millions of shows, episodes, platforms, days of the year, time for you to be alive, the right mindset for you. And you clicked on this episode on this day of this show at this time in your life for a reason. Whether you know the reason or not, and most of the time, you're not going to know the reasons because most of the time, the timing of manifestations, the order of manifestations, they won't ever make sense to us. They just happen as we are ready to receive them, even if we don't know we're ready to receive them. So even if you don't know why this episode popped up, or maybe you've been following me for years and years and years and years, and this is just a weekly thing for you, or maybe you followed me years ago and then you haven't heard my name since 2015. And now today on October 10th of 2022, you saw this episode. You're like, wait, I remember her from like old YouTube days. Whatever your reasoning might be, like you were brought to this episode for a reason. So you clicking on this is already a manifestation working in one way or another. I want you to also think about it this way, which is a very common example that we hear all the time with manifestation. 
do you remember the game yellow car um when we were kids like we would play yellow car and whenever you would see a yellow car you would say yellow car and then when obviously when you start looking for yellow cars they appear everywhere or if you're shopping for a new car and you want a i don't know a toyota I was going to say a Toyota Honda. Can you tell I'm not a car girl? If you want a certain type of car, settling that car is everywhere. You know what I mean? Like we see this stuff all the time. It could have been that you are now just paying more attention to yellow cars or the cars that you want to buy once you started looking for them. But couldn't the opposite of that argument be that those cars were there all along, but it wasn't until we started thinking about them that we actually cared if they were out there or not? I want you to put this into perspective of your life. If you want a new job, it's not until we start thinking about wanting that new job that we start seeing all these opportunities that come our way. Or could it be that those opportunities have been there all along, but we were just closed off to them because of our mindset? Manifestation opens the pathway between our thoughts and our reality. What we believe is the reality in which we live. When times are high stress in our mind, don't you notice that our days tend to be bad? Like, think about it. When we have a bad day, everything tends to go really bad. We wake up on the wrong side of the bed, and then we run out of toothpaste, and then we're out of coffee, or we spill it on ourselves, and then we're late to our meeting because we hit every single red light on the way to work, and then our lunch order was wrong, or maybe Chick-fil-A was closed because it's a Sunday. And then when we get home, we're just in a really shitty mood. And that all started in our head and manifested into the outside world. And this is a tough pill to swallow, but on your worst day, someone else could be having their best day. What I'm getting at is that just what's going on in your mind doesn't mean it's a universal experience. Just because you're having a bad day does not mean that the rest of the world is having a bad day. Most of the time, it's just internal and it's our thoughts that are perceiving our days to be bad when in actuality, it's just our thoughts. Think about this on a greater scale. During really high times of conflict, when I think about that, I think of like June 2020. There was so much tension in the world. And I just constantly remember going on social media and everyone was fighting about everything. And it could have been due to so many reasons that are all valid that I don't really feel like I want to explain to everyone. I think everyone knows, you know, what was going on during that that time of our lives. But it just became so apparent that it was all everyone was thinking about. And it certainly was what I was thinking about all the time. And those thoughts were manifesting into my day-to-day life. They were manifesting into bad moods, bad days, uncertainty, anxiety, fear. And it took me to literally delete social media off my phone, stop logging into stuff on my laptop, mute my own Facebook group to really just physically escape the thoughts and the real life manifestations to shift my thinking and to recenter who I was in the real world and not who I was on social media. Not saying that they're two different people, but I had to really like eliminate and control my thinking because my thinking was manifesting into bad days offline. And that's when I draw the line. These are very dramatic examples, but you get what I'm saying. Our thoughts become our reality. And this is so powerful to know because It means that we can control the narrative of our days, of our thoughts, and of our lives. So if we can control our thoughts negatively to have a bad day, then we can control our thoughts positively to have great days. Now, I said that the secret is a little bit cheesy, and I kind of stand by that, but I do stand by that. So I will recommend a book for you guys that I think is a really great book to read and that I think demonstrates manifestation so beautifully. And that book is A New Earth by Eckhart Tolle. And he also has a podcast with Oprah and it explains each chapter. So if you're not much of a reader, he also has it in an audiobook where he narrates the book. And if that's even too much for you, um, there is a podcast where they talk about every chapter. I do recommend getting the full experience and reading the book or listening to the book and then listening to the podcast and you'll really get the whole gist of the book. And this book goes very deep, but it remains 
digestible. Like yesterday, I was listening to an episode of Huberman Lab podcast, and he is a scientist, and you know, he starts talking about all these terms, and it gets at points kind of hard to understand, but he breaks it down in a way that's so easy to understand in layman's terms, and that's what a new earth does. It really goes deep while remaining bite-sized and digestible. So in this book, he talks a lot about the higher self and the ego. Who are we really and who is the ego that we associate with it? And to summarize the book and quick trigger warning, um, he talks a lot about in the beginning, depression and suicide and the question of who am I and why do I want to unalive myself as if I and myself are two different people. And that question really led him down a path of self-discovery, exploration, and into a beautiful journey of manifestation, which he discusses in the book. So it's not a dark book. It's like it's like a page of uncomfortableness, at least for me. That topic just always has kind of triggered me. Um, so it's an uncomfortable page, but after that book, or sorry, after that page, it's a gorgeous book and you really learn a lot and it leads you to a great path. And I really recommend listening to it or reading it. It's not a sad book, but it's rather beautiful and will leave you with immense purpose. Anyway, I digress. Um, so I recommend that book if you're looking to get deeper knowledge after this podcast of manifestation. Something that I discuss a lot is the higher self and whoever you ask is going to have a different definition of the higher self, but this is how I like to explain it and how I use this on a daily basis. The higher self is the version of you in which all of your manifestations have come true. When you sit down to manifest your life, an outcome, an idea, you are visualizing a version of yourself you wish to become one day. That version of your manifested self is your higher self. It's important to work towards your higher self as she or he keeps you accountable. She keeps you grounded. She keeps you motivated. But it's important to remember that she is you. You are this version of yourself. And that kind of ties all back to that. Who is the ego? What is the ego? Why do we associate ourselves with the ego? And how do I remove the ego from my higher self? And that's talked a lot about in the book and how you can bring out your higher self. So here's how you can start living as your higher self. This is an exercise that I talk about all the time. It's one that I really believe in so much so that I actually put it as the introduction to my planner, the manifest planner. So here's what you do. You get a blank piece of paper or two or three, you might be writing a lot, and write down who your higher self is. Um, Like I said, I've talked about this exercise so much and I believe in it so much that it's the intro of my planner. So you're going to write a passage of who your higher self is and there is no time limit on this. When I write my passage, and let me also say this, I've redone my higher self passage probably six times and it comes when I'm ready for it. It's not something I force. It's like I remember one night I wrote it on New Year's Eve, like at 2 a.m. after the ball dropped. Like that was amazing. Um, I wrote it a couple months ago and they were vastly different. Like I've rewritten this version of myself a couple of times. So just because what you write down today might be different than what you believe in six months, your path might change. Like that's fine. But just allow yourself to write and write now what feels authentic for you. So when I write down my version of my higher self, I have literally no idea how old I am or when in the future that's going to be. I just pretty much know the basics of the questions, which I'm about to give you guys in a minute, such as where I live, what I look like, what my career is, who I'm married to, things like that. But I don't know if I'm 30. I don't know if I'm 40. I don't know if I'm 85. I don't know if it's tomorrow. Like, I don't know. There's never a time cap on this version of yourself. But I just know that this version of myself exists. And I will one day embody this version of myself. Now, with that being said, I definitely want to put a pin 
on what I just said because manifestations will only remain manifestations or something in the future unless you start speaking the future into existence as present moments, okay? So saying things like, one day I won't have to worry about money will keep the manifestation to the universe of money is something that I will always have to worry about because one day will never come. One day is a concept in the future that is abstract that we can't put a time to. It's not like on May 30th of 2025, I'm going to have a million dollars in my savings account. Do you see the difference of one day I won't have to worry about money? What the universe hears is one day worry money. I'm always going to have to worry about money. That's pretty much what it's hearing rather than money is something that I have an abundance of. Do you hear the difference between the two? So rather your mindset needs to be the future embodiments of manifestations. They need to be set in the present moment, such as money comes easily and frequently and in abundance. And I'm going to discuss discuss this in depth in just a minute, but I wanted to put a pin on that. Now back to the higher self, stick with me because what I'm about to say sounds contradictory to what I just said, but it actually ties together. So just stick with me. So I want you to write a passage of your higher self in which there is no time limit. Now this isn't like in six years, this is where I'm going to be. It's just a version of yourself that exists. Okay. Stick with me. Have this letter be immensely detailed. Put on a good podcast. Put on a thought-provoking playlist. Make a cup of tea. Light a candle and get in the mindset to write. I'll give you guys a couple of prompts to get your mind rolling. Think of things about yourself that you want to become true. And really write down the details of these questions. Where do you live? What do you do for a living? What time do you wake up? Do you wake up alone or with a partner? What does your partner look like? How did you and your partner meet? How do you feel when you're with your partner? Are you even married? What was your wedding day like? How did you feel walking down the aisle? How much money do you make a year? How much money do you make per month? How do you spend your money? Do you invest your money? How do you feel about having money? Tell me about your house. What does it smell like? What are the colors of your floors? What's the color of your walls? How do you feel when you wake up? What is your morning routine? What do you do in the shower? What temperature do you shower? What car do you drive? Do you drive to work at all? Do you walk to work? Do you lead a team? Are you fulfilled in your career? How did you get to where you are in your career? Do you have kids? How old are they? What are their names? What do they do for fun? How do you feel being a parent? What are your friends like? How did you meet them? How many close friends do you have? What do you do to unwind at the end of the day? What are your hobbies? When did you start gardening? How do you read six books a month? When did you begin taking dance classes for fun? Describe yourself in three words. I could go on and on and on and on and on with prompts, but I want you to sit down and write about the best version of yourself. And I would think about what's important to you now and where you want to be in your life. Again, no time cap, just where do you want to be? Now, from this letter of manifestation to your higher self, you can look at this and you can realize that everything that you just wrote down, such as the question of what do you do for a career? And let's say right now I'm a teacher, for example. I'm a teacher. I teach first grade right now. But in my career, I want to be a state board educator a department of education educator for the state of Pennsylvania. Let's say that's my goal or sorry, that's my higher self, what my higher self does. We can look at that and realize, okay, well today I'm a first grade teacher, but my higher self is an educator to the department state of education. So that is a goal, right? We can turn these passages into goals And those goals are turned into manifestations. And we do this by making a future goal, a present statement. And that's how this all ties back together. For example, if in this letter you wrote that you are the CEO of a wildly successful planner company called the Manifest Planner Company that does $500,000 in revenue each month and you lead a team of 50 female employees, then you would write down, because remember, that's a goal, and that's something that my higher self does. I would write down, 
I am grateful to lead a group of 50 women at the Manifest Planner Company, which is a Forbes awarded Fortune 500 company valued at $1.6 billion, where I feel fulfilled and leave my customers feeling fulfilled with purpose in their day to day life. And from here, I will repeat that statement to myself every single day until it's true, goddammit. And it's never a one day I will be a Fortune 500 company valued at $1.6 billion. It's I am a Fortune 500 company valued at $1.6 motherfucking billion, okay? It's speaking the yellow cars into the existence. It's not a one day I'm going to see a yellow car. It's there's the yellow car. That's the difference. And let me remind you, the universe is big. It is massive. It is huge. It can handle your big dreams. It can handle your big manifestations. Me sitting here saying like, I want to have a planner company that will one day be valued at $1.6 billion. That's all it's ever going to be is a one day I want that. But me sitting here and saying, I own a planner company that is valued at $1.6 billion. That sounds crazy to say out loud. Like we can all admit, like that sounds crazy to say out loud, but it's a big dream. It's a big manifestation. And like Jeff Bezos started Amazon where they were literally trading books. And now it's what? One of the richest companies in the world. It's possible. Anything is possible. The universe is big. It can handle your big manifestations. Don't go small. Go big. It can handle it. Let's also think about it on a smaller scale though. If in your higher self, you are a graduate at Columbia University, your daily manifestation, whether it's true or not, which let me remind you, 99.99999% of the time, it will not be presently true. You will write, I am a Columbia engineer degree with a 4.0 GPA. Get specific, get micro and believe it. You have to believe it. I could sit here and tell you that I am a... WWE wrestler, (laughs) like I have a world title. I could tell you that, but I don't believe it. I don't believe it. I don't ever see myself doing wrestling. I don't ever see myself getting into that career. I could could say it all day long, but I'm not believing it. And that's the difference. If you believe your manifestations, they are coming true. If you don't believe your manifestations, I don't know. They're not coming true. You could say whatever you want, but you have to believe what you're saying. So now take your letter, letter, pull your goals, and write them in present sentences. Let's say your higher self lives in a penthouse. Awesome. Your present sentence is, I am grateful to come home every day to my gorgeous penthouse apartment on 96th Street in Manhattan. I don't even know if that's a street, but I'm grateful that I live in that penthouse on that street. Notice that a lot of these present sentences are written in terms of gratitude. I'm grateful to own a Fortune 500 company. I'm grateful to live in a penthouse. I'm great, grateful to be a mother to three healthy babies. I am grateful to donate a million dollars a year to Jake's Dragon Foundation. I'm grateful to live in South Carolina where the days are warm and the skies are sunny. Manifestation is rooted in gratitude. Now is where we begin the how to practice manifestation in your daily life. Throughout your entire day, I want you to catch yourself when you speak negatively and turn it into something that you are grateful for. Like I was saying in the beginning of the episode, tomorrow I fly and I am terrified to fly. I have horrible flight anxiety. But I know that my higher self travels without a fear of flying and she travels the world to speak on the power of manifestation and productive creativity. So instead of being afraid to fly, I am so grateful to fly. I'm grateful to afford travel. I am grateful that my flight tomorrow is safe. I am grateful that when I land tomorrow, I will be on vacation. I am grateful for the people that made air travel possible. I'm grateful for the opportunity to fly tomorrow. You turn a negative into gratitude. If you got stuck behind every single red light possible and now you're late to work, you're grateful that the universe has your best interest at heart and is asking me to slow down. I'm grateful for the extra time to myself in the car. I'm grateful I'm not five minutes ahead of me where I just saw an accident happen. I'm grateful for my car. 
I'm grateful for the job that I'm going to. I'm grateful for the apartment that I was rushing out of to be on time for work. I'm grateful for the opportunity to provide for my family. Another example of turning a negative into something that we are grateful for. This isn't that whole top or the whole talk of toxic positivity, but it's turning negative situations into gratitude. So here's another example. Like if you got in a huge fight with your partner, I'm grateful for this fight that provided clarity as to how we both communicate when tensions are high. I'm grateful that we can work through this or I'm grateful that this fight happened because my higher self is with a partner who chooses to work through problems with me rather than abandon our relationship when tensions are high. It can redirect you when you choose the path of gratitude. It can also be having gratitude in just the small daily things of life that we look at as just day-to-day things, habits that we don't even think twice about, but we express gratitude in. When we make our cup of coffee in the morning, I'm so grateful for this coffee. When we wake up in the middle of the night and we are so thirsty and we chug water, we can say, I'm so grateful for this water. When it's been raining for four days straight and finally the fifth day it's sunny, I'm so grateful for the sunshine. I'm grateful for my friends. I'm so grateful for my job. I'm so grateful for this blanket that's keeping me warm. I'm grateful for Spotify that brings me this episode. I'm grateful for my phone that allows me to get inspiration to reinvent myself. I'm so grateful to call my mom. I'm so grateful to walk today and move my legs. I'm so grateful to take a shower. I'm so grateful for my dog. It's expressing gratitude all day, every day when we can. And this comes back to manifestations. Our thoughts become our reality. The more we express gratitude, the more gratuitous opportunities come our way. Happy thoughts mean happy reality. The second way of practicing manifestation in your daily life is to take the letter that you wrote of your higher self and make a vision board out of it. I love doing this a few times a year. And the way that I do this is on Canva and I make it my phone background. Where's my phone? Let me show you. So I make it my phone background and it's really simple to do. You just go on Canva, type in phone background to give you the right dimensions. And then you just choose a blank template or they have a bunch of other templates where you can just insert your pictures and you just pull pictures from Google, Instagram, your photo albums, TikTok, Tumblr, I don't know, wherever you want to get pictures from of what your higher self's version of you looks like. And this can be broad. It can be dialed in. You can have this however you want. Like for me right now, it's very dialed in on the planner aspect of my life. It's not really focused on you know, a relationship or, or social life or movement. It's really dialed in about my planner company. Where do I want my planner company to be? What does my higher self do day to day when operating the manifest planner company? So for me, it's very planner focused. It has feminine work suits and a female team and board meetings physical products, digital products. It has the car that I want to drive to the office every day. It has the home that I want to live in and work out of. It has fresh lemon water sitting on a desk, etc. things like that. This is my phone background so that every time I'm on my phone, I see it. But like, let's be real, we eventually just overlook things that we see every day. So after a week, about nine times out of 10, I don't even notice it, honestly. But there will come a day when you look at your phone background and realize that once that what, what was once on your manifestation board is now the representation of your current life. And that's when it all clicks for you. Print pictures out put, and put them everywhere. Make it your phone background, your laptop background, post notes to your present self all around your house, around your apartment. We have these sticky notes up at Stride that just say affirmations. I am smart. I am successful. I am worthy. I am a CEO. I am a strong mother. I am a leader. It's actually so funny because I used to practice this practice of visualization when I was a kid and when I was playing softball and I didn't even know it. So I was a pitcher and I used to visualize before I, before I pitched the ball, where I wanted the ball to go, where I wanted to go over the strike zone, where I wanted it to go in the glove. And I could literally like see the ball getting snapped out of my hand and going right into the catcher's glove, right down the middle and exactly where I wanted the ball to go. 
And nine times out of 10, it would go right where I visualized it. And it was amazing. And I didn't even know that in that moment I was practicing manifestation. Um, This is also a funny example and just another way to prove the point of how much it works. I was a pitcher and the stereotype of a pitcher is that you're a bad batter and you can't hit. And man, was that the truth for me? I could not hit. I was just, I was just not good at it. Like whenever I came up, everyone knew like it was an out. Like you could just put on your gloves, like we're all done. I like barely got hits. I just wasn't good at batting. So anyway, just wasn't my strong suit. But I remember there was one practice. My dad can tell you about this because he was the coach and he was, I remember my dad was pitching to me and he was just like, he was cracking up because it was so funny. There was this one practice and we were doing batting practice and I would hold my bat out and I'd point it to where I wanted the ball to go. And I was pointing it to like the outfield and like I could not hit the outfield. And if anything, like I was always hitting it to the first base side because I was always behind on my swing and I, it would never hit the outfield. Like it would, I was just such a bad hitter, but I was pointing it to where I wanted it. And I was pointing it to like the third baseline in the outfield. And then I'd go like to the center field and then I'd go to the, to the right. And I would just like point it. And then every single time I would hit it out in the outfield, like on the third base side, I'm like, what the heck? Like wherever I'd point my bat is where I ended up hitting the ball. And we were just cracking up because I'm like, I can't hit the ball. Like, what am I doing? Like I'm pointing and then the ball's going that way. Like my dad can tell you all about it. It was just so crazy. It was so funny, but that was visualization. That was manifestation. It's just so crazy. And this is how you can visualize your life. And the third way is to journal each day. Now, journaling can sound really intimidating because I think when we think of journaling, we think of, dear diary, today I did X, Y, Z, and I felt sad, or I felt happy, or I felt this, and then this happened. And that's not what journaling has to be. It can be that if you want it to be like passages, like we think of like diary entries and we think like, oh, well, I'm going to, you know, we, we always hear like, oh, I read my daughter's diary and she has a crush on this boy named Jake. Like that's not what journaling has to be. Journaling is just expressing thoughts. It's manifestations written out. It's visualizing the thoughts in our brain. It doesn't have to be intimidating. It can be as simple as waking up and writing down three things you're grateful for, one I am statement, also known as an affirmation, and at the end of the day, writing down one thing that went well. That's all. That's all it has to be. It doesn't even have to be that much. It could literally just be, I am happy I woke up today. And then you close your journal and you move on. It could be as simple as that. It could be a grocery list. It could be a an idea that comes to when I'm 25, I want to own a house. That's a journal entry. It could be something as simple as that. It could be writing passages to yourself if that's what you want, but that takes a lot of work and tends to be a lot of pressure. It doesn't have to be high pressure, but if you're someone that feels called to writing a novel one day or wants to write a memoir one day, like maybe that's in your, in your pursuit of your higher self and run with that. It can be writing your goals of what do you want to do this month? You know, if you want to save $600 this month, maybe your journal passage every day for the month of October is I'm wise with my money and limit my personal spending to allow for financial freedom. The universe here is wise with my money, limit personal spending, financial freedom, all great things. And, you know, you can also really bump up journaling. If you are in a season of your life where you're really manifesting big dreams, then you can go all out with your journal entries. This is what I did in like the fall of 2019. This was like a crazy era for me. I was waking up at 4 a.m. I was like setting up Stride Sea Isle. I was building what I thought was going to be like a mini Stride Empire because I wanted to open Stride Sea Isle and then I wanted two more locations later on that year. And then COVID hit and like all the plans kind of went out the window. But I had really big plans up until COVID. Okay. And I would wake up and I'd write down an entire page of goals in affirmation format. And they were things along the lines of, I'm grateful to open stride sea aisle on May 24th of 2020. Mind you, I was writing this in December of 2019. 
I'm grateful to have $400,000 in financial backing, even though at the time I had zero. I'm grateful for a Philly location opening in Sansom Street in June of 2021. I had no prospects of a Philly location, but I knew that's what I wanted. I'm grateful for the peace I feel in my daily life. I did not feel peace. I felt chaos. I'm grateful for a team of like-minded individuals working toward a common goal of a better spin studio to best serve our clients. You can take journaling as extreme as you want or as minimal as you want. One time I posted my a video of myself on my story writing an affirmation in the manifest planner and it was, I feel calm. That's what I wrote. I feel calm. And my friend saw me later that day and was like, I saw that you wrote that you felt calm. Like, I wish I could write down in my manifest planner that I felt calm, but I feel anything but calm. And I told her, I was like, are you kidding? I don't feel calm. I'm not calm. But I really feel like I'm actually living in chaos, but my higher self is calm in the chaos. So therefore I'm choosing to show up as my higher self today and I'm choosing to be calm. That's how our higher self manifests into our daily self, into our present self by choosing to show up as our higher self. Now, would my higher self have like makeup on for this podcast episode? Probably. Okay. But today I'm showing up as this version of myself. So that's how our higher self manifests into our daily self by choosing to do the things on a daily basis that our higher self does. Because we eventually want to be that version of ourselves. That version of ourselves already exists inside of us. It's how we can come up with the manifestations and the goals and the affirmations. It's because that version is already there. You just have to choose to believe them. The fourth and final way that I'm going to discuss today that you can practice manifestation in your daily life, and this should come to no surprise to anyone, is by purchasing the manifest planner. I don't know, like now it sounds like a giant plug and like this whole episode sounds like an ad. I swear it's like really not an ad, but I, I created the planner because I practice manifestation in my daily life. I truly believe in the practice of manifestation and the planner was built off that. Like I said in the beginning, it begins with the manifestation practice of the higher self letter. And then it goes into another exercise called the life pie. And then from that life pie, you break down goals in increments of five years, three years, one year, six months, one month, one week, and today. And it makes your higher self be broken down into, okay, like what can I do today to get me to where I want to be in five years? And it gives purpose to every single day. It gives purpose to every single week, to every single month, to every single year. And that doesn't mean that like every day is the best day you've ever had. Like purpose sometimes means having a bad day because the bad days make your great days even greater. The purpose of lazy days is necessary. The purpose of a bad day is necessary. This planner is not meant to intimidate. This planner is not meant to be unrealistic. It's meant to give yourself the self-care days. It's meant to take it slow. It's meant to be left empty if you have nothing to do. That is the purpose of your day. There are going to be some days where your planner is completely full of ideas, affirmations, manifestations, gratitude, to-dos, agendas, and then maybe the next day it's empty and that's fine. Maybe it's just a journal entry of, you know, I'm kind of having a bad day, but at least the sun is shining. At least my coffee is good. That's what the manifestation planner is all about. The manifestation planner, the manifest planner. I can't even get my own planner right. It just gives purpose to every single day. And I think that is so important. The purpose behind every single day is really what makes manifestation so important. It just makes your life full, full of purpose. It allows room for one goal each day to reach your higher self, manifestations and gratitudes and affirmations and reflection in each day. It's journaling, it's planning, it's purpose. It's the perfect tool for daily manifestation practice. You can purchase the Manifest Planner digitally on my Etsy shop for an iPad download um, on like GoodNotes and the physical edition will be on sale by Black Friday of this year. So you guys can get it for the new year. It will start dated in 2023 for the hard copy. But the digital copy, I have a daily dated version that started in August. Um, and I will have a January start version come Black Friday. And I also have a dated, sorry, an undated daily edition of the Manifest Planner as well. If you want to get started today and not miss a day. Um, 
That's all available in the show notes if you guys are interested. But I say all this because this is how I practice manifestation. And I think the easiest way to do it in a day-to-day basis is to start by writing out that letter of higher self to yourself, making a phone background visualization, and then just practicing gratitude. Then like tomorrow morning or even later today, when you make a cup of coffee or when you're driving to work, just say, I'm so grateful for this. I'm so grateful that the sun is out. I'm so grateful that I'm able to get a coffee on my way to work. I'm so grateful that I have a car to drive. I'm so grateful that I have legs that can walk me to work. I'm so grateful that I have coworkers to (laughs) talk crap on, to like talk crap about my boss too. Like whatever it is, like you can be petty in your minute. Who cares? Like just express gratitude. However, gratitude is calling you that day. And guys, that is how you can practice manifestation on a daily basis. I hope this was an easy, digestible way of practicing manifestation that doesn't feel scary, that doesn't feel intimidating, and that doesn't feel like you have to be perfect at it. Manifestation isn't perfect. Life isn't perfect. And one of my favorite quotes that I say all the time is the universe has no obligation to make sense to you. So if you're manifesting and you're visualizing and you're expressing gratitude and you feel like things just keep happening poorly to you, I encourage you to lean into the gratitude even more. Just say, I don't understand why things keep happening, but I'm trusting that the universe is redirecting me to my path. Just because it doesn't make sense right now doesn't mean it won't in five years. Like I can think about certain instances three years ago that sucked that in the moment I'm like, why is this happening? Like, I feel like I was on such a great path. I was so happy. I was so trusting. I was so this, I was so that. Why would this happen? And then suddenly three years later, you reflect and you're like, I get it. Like now I get why that happened. But in the moment, you might not. So lean into it, lean into the unknown, lean into the uncertainty and just trust the path that the universe has you on. One of my favorite affirmations that I write every day is I trust the path that I am on. I trust that I'm on the right path. And oh, it's just, it's a good one. It's just a great reminder, you know, like you're, you're exactly where you're supposed to be. And the chances of you listening to this podcast are so slim in the grand scheme of things. Like the fact that we are all alive at the same time together at this moment of time is such a miracle. Life is such a miracle. Your life, where you're at in your life, it's such a miracle. And it's just, that's, that's manifestation. That's gratitude. It's just leaning into that. Even in times of uncertainty, when things seem to be working against you, I just always encourage you to lean into it and, um, just trust where you're at. It'll get you where you need to be. It always will. It always will. Even if it doesn't make sense, just trust it. So guys, that's what I have for you today. I'll have all the resources that I talked about linked down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and found value in it. If you did, please be sure to share it. Um, Also, if you guys are posting anything on TikTok, I recently downloaded TikTok again on just my iPad so that I could like see what you guys post about the podcast because there are so many posts about the podcast that I don't see because I'm not on TikTok. So I put it on my iPad so I could see and because I wanted to repost them on the Instagram, which is at manifest with Tori D. Simone. So if you guys have posted anything about the podcast, um, expect to see yourself on the Instagram because it is so cute and like, I just love seeing it. So yeah, I'd love to see what you guys think. Be sure to follow the Instagram. I post snippets of the episodes on there. The YouTube channel, if you guys want to watch it on video is youtube.com slash manifest with Tori D. Simone. Be sure to follow, leave a review, share this on your story, share it with friends. It really helps the show. And I thank you guys so much for always supporting the show and trusting that this episode came to you at the right time of your life. So guys have a great Monday. Happy manifest Monday. And I'll talk to you guys all next week. Bye guys.